Hey guys, hey everyone, welcome to the camp, it's a girl twin D. Thank you so much for joining me, if you're new here, welcome, 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 if you've been with me a long time now, welcome again, welcome, welcome, and big up on yourself. Let's jump straight into your message, guys. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. All right, guys, let's see what's going on for you here. Let's see what's up. Within the next three days, what's happening for us? And please keep in mind that these energies can go farther than three days. It could even be happening right now. Or have already happened but let's see what I'll get for you guys you have the clover so Florida surrounded in clover means happiness surmounted over grief bits of luck and fortune await you have the potential to make life great so there's an opportunity coming in for some of you guys here within the next three days an opportunity that's gonna help you to propel in life go farther to move from one situation to the next a change that's definitely gonna happen so there's a change coming in for some of you guys here and it's gonna help you to work on your finances it's gonna help you to move from a situation that is not so favorable to one that is So when that opportunity comes, guys, take advantage of it, use it properly, and you'll know. It, it, I'm getting like there may, it, it may be an offer. It may be an offer. So you may have been going through a, a, a sad time where you feel like something in regards to your finances. There's going to come an opportunity. You already may have that opportunity at hand. But it's like you're going to, if you already have that opportunity on hand, it's like you're going to see it. You're going to realize that this is the opportunity you've been waiting on to improve your life. Because great fortune is awaiting you. And you have the potential to do so. So there's something you're working on. There's something that you're going to do. That's going to bring forth abundance in your life. And for others of you, the opportunity will be presented to you. Okay. And you have the tree. One tree from earth is best to see. It springs from birth, good health for thee. And if the tree should reappear close to the current, your goal is near. All right. The current isn't out. But the, there is something here in regards to good health. Some, there is someone here who may have been drinking or someone close to you who may have been drinking. They, they drink a lot. And they're going to turn a new leaf. They're going to start over or you're going to start over whoever this is. But because it's a process, it's going to take a little time. But there's someone here who's going to be working on their health. Someone who is going to be changing the way they do things so that they can have a better life. There is also something that someone may be struggling with from, from birth, from they were young. And you're going to be able to finally get over that sickness, to get rid of that illness. Yeah. Okay, that's all I got for that one. And you have the garden. The garden on, on tree to a party you'll go. New friends will arrive and romance may flow. Life's to be enjoyed with nature all around. In this verdant setting, beauty and peace abound. So what I'm getting for this is that there is someone here that's going to enter your life. Someone that you may have been dreaming of. Someone that you may, it's like this person 
you you have known them before and like you're going to meet up on this person romance is going to start to bloom for someone here someone is going to it's like you were in this depressive mode and you were just sitting at home because you're so depressed and thinking about someone that you may have lost in the past or whatever. But then it's like you're going to come to this conclusion like I got to enjoy life. I, I got to go out. I got to take care of myself. You know, you know, I, I got, just got to go out and enjoy myself. And then, boom, you're going to meet up on someone. And again, this doesn't have to be you. This could be someone you're close to. This person, whoever it is, this person was stuck in their head about something or someone that they may have lost. They may, they may be going through a breakup and this person feels like, what, what, what's the use in going out, you know? I'm always disappointed. But it's like now this person is gonna go is gonna get out of that negative energy and realize, hey, I gotta still live my life. I'm living my life. I I can't be thinking about the past. I can't be stuck in my head trying to figure out what happened, what's going on, or whatever. This person is gonna start to get out, and it's when you go out. Then everything that you should come across, you're gonna come across. Especially the love that's gonna be the love of your life. You have the anchor. The anchor is a sign of a stable event. Bask in sunshine, secure and content. When the anchor is some distance away from you, hope will fade and leave life askew. All right. So again, this is about someone who is in their head about something that they want to make work, something that they want to accomplish, something that they want to be stable. There is something stable coming in for you. There is, this is something you have been worried about. You're going over and over in your head. Am I going to receive this? Am I going to receive that? Is this going to happen? Is that going to happen? But it is. It is. Something new is coming your way. Something stable. Something that's going to make you happy. Something that's going to give you the security you've been looking for. This could be someone or it could be that financial opportunity. So there's no need to, st to stick there in your head trying to figure out things or trying to... Um, Tell yourself that nothing's ever going to happen for you. Nothing's ever going to change. Something solid and secure is about to enter your life. That's going to cause you to stop the worrying. You have the birds. Birds bring a message full of cheer. If this card, if this card falls distant, all is not clear. Whatever the outcome, remain without fear. Woes will be brief when the birds disappear. That's what I was just saying. That's what I was just saying. Do not worry about the things you don't have. Do not worry about what's not there or, or what you have lost or what's, what just left your life or whatever it is. Your life is about to improve. Your life is about to get better. But you gotta get out of that negative energy. There's a message that someone is gonna receive here, and it, it is going to make you happy. It is gonna bring a smile on your face. Things are gonna start to be revealed to you. And all that sadness that you've been sitting down, thinking about. It's going to slowly disappear. You have the fox. The fox is sly. A friend is too. Someone may try to deceive you. With wily glances, the Reynard snaps. Evade deception and beware old traps. 
So again, you have here protect yourself. Someone here needs to protect themselves. There is someone around you who, who are not of your best interest. This person you may consider as a friend. But this person is it's only in your life. Maybe because of what they can get from you. Maybe it's because they have, well, they have ulterior motives other than being your friend. Try not to let anyone deceive you into thinking that something may not work out or into thinking that um it's like follow your intuition follow your intuition it's like you feel and you know that something will work out but because you are sad and you may have this friend who come to you and try to talk to you do not let this person like convince you that things are never gonna work out this person may be trying to take something from you or maybe a, a reason, the reason why someone may have left your life or something was taken. So be careful of those that are around you. And there are some, for, I'm getting another message try not if you if you say within yourself you're a changed person and you don't normally do the things you do especially for the ones who i, I was talking about that maybe um drinking or used to drink and you're trying to change because it's a new year everybody's setting um new year resolutions the things you want to change try not to let someone deceive you or drag you back into those old behaviors so whatever it is you are trying to change about yourself, try not to let whoever this person is deceive you into going back into your old behaviors and your old ways. What else do you have for us, please, Father? You have the house. A stately house beyond the gate bestows stability upon your fate. In love and play, your chance, your chance to win depends on how you first begin. So there is love coming in here and this this one is very important for someone there's love coming in but it depends on how you're gonna interact with that person when that person first shows up like i was saying there's stability coming in for someone there's someone here who who have been worried about something that they didn't re that they didn't receive There is going to come a chance here for something to grow, for someone to enter your life. But you got to be careful on how you react. That's it too. Be careful on how you react so that you do not deceive your own self. Do not go back into your old ways doing the same old things that you used to do in your past relationships and now whether this person returns or this is someone new then you're gonna bring in the same old attitudes that's gonna lead your relationship to the same path where the old one ends so it depends on how you begin yeah, i was just gonna say someone is about to get a new house as well because I'm drawn to the house, house, and here is a key. Someone may be receiving a new house or you're moving to a new apartment. You have the key. Inspiration unlocks the door. Solutions are the key to success and more. Miracles and insight are easy to trace once the final piece tumbles into place. So there is something definitely coming in for someone that's going to bring you that joy that you're looking for. It's going to be so unexpected whether you're going to meet up with someone that finances that that finance issue that 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 you're finally going to get rid of there's something that you need to find a solution for 
something that you've been contemplating that you have on your mind. And you're going to find a solution. That solution is going to happen. It is going to happen. Look at the sun on the bottom here. It is going to happen. 333. Three, three. And 144 is right there. So there's happiness that's going to come in for you here. But you just got to think. So you can achieve your success. There's financial abundance coming in here. That's going to help you to move from where you are. It's like somebody wants to move, but it's like they didn't have the finances. That finance is coming in. That help is coming in. It's even including your business as well and for love here. What else do you have for us, Ravika? Ew. <laughs> Val is a serpent who loves with a bite. Be not indulgent or slow to the fight. Flee every moment she turns on the charm. This poised opponent will bring you to harm. So there is someone who is going to try to trick somebody here. There is someone who is going to try to trick someone. There is a female person that is going to try to trick someone here. They could be tricking you. For financial gain, they could be tricking you because they want to, um, they, they see that you are, you are very thoughtful and you, you're giving. So, hey, why not pray on this person so that I can have my stability? So their intention is not to be good to you, it's be to be good for themselves. This person is going to try to charm you. So be careful out there, especially the men who will be watching this. There may be someone coming in trying to trick you, to charm you, to use their sexual energy to get to you, but it's just to trick you so that they can get in and then take whatever it is that they want. So be careful of those that you will meet within the next three days, or even after. Just be careful. There is new, new people that are coming into your life. And you have the coffin. Illness. Illness is known. Sickness is near. Faith has its own ending to fear. You lose your money. All is hopeless to you. And what is the saddest? Your courage fails too. So this is exactly what I just said to you. Be careful of these people that are coming in. These people have no good intention for you. Someone is coming in here so that they can take from you. They're going to appear like they want to build with you right after the other snake and the coffin. Like they want to build a life with you. But that's not their intention. Someone may be sick as well. And then this person is going to come back to you or come towards you acting like they're there to help you and whatever. But it's because they see an opportunity that they can take. To, I don't know what they, these people do, but this, this person is going to pretend like they care for you, like they're there for you. But you got to be careful of whoever this person is. You have the mountain. Confront the mountain as you would a fierce foe. To avoid your defeat, strike hard the first blow. So as soon as you realize that this person is trying to deceive you, do not let it go. Do not let it, it, do not let it go beyond that point of you figuring it out. As soon as you realize this person is trying to deceive you, it's like, just cut them off, you know? Just cut them out of your life. This clear obstacle is a chance to succeed. Courage and persistence are all you will need. So, there is somebody here who is also going to be relying on someone for their stability, for their growth. So, it's like, maybe this person is going to come in and, and this is someone who may be... A, re-entering your life someone you may be dealing with and they're gonna return and it's gonna be like okay i'm sick this person came back to help me so they must mean me good no they do not they do not it's because they see that they can they, they can get back into your life so they can continue to manipulate you use you and take from you be careful
I have the beer, brawny and bold. Here is the beer. Your financial positions, you should be aware. See that? <laughs> Why did they come out after the other? Beware of your financial positions, guys, whoever it is out there. Spend your resources with wisdom and care. Use your power to be strong and fear. Someone needs to be careful of their finances because someone is going to be pretending like they're there for them. And it's because they realize that you're at a certain place in life where you're improving, where things are going good for you. When they were in your life before... And they didn't help you to get to where you're at. But now they see that opportunity to come in and sink their claws into you and then take from you again. You got to be careful, whoever this message is for. And the Cavalier, heed well good news from the Cavalier. Impassioned views promise good cheer. Sadness that hides veiled in the day. Once disguised soon fly away. So you're definitely going to be figuring this person out. And the good thing is you're going to be getting this person out of your life because you're going to realize that you're going to realize what their tricks are. You're going to realize what, your, what their tricks are. You're going to realize that you don't need them to come back into your life to help you succeed. You're going to realize you were succeeding all by yourself because when you were around them, there was no succeeding. But now that you're by yourself, you're succeeding and now this person is going to try to come back around. So you need to be thinking clearly, looking clearly on your situation, whoever this is for. There's someone deceptive who is going to try to re-enter your life. You know this person. This could be an ex. And because you're sick, you may be alone and this person shows up. You may think this person cares for you, but it's not. It's because this person sees that you are doing good in life. And they know that if they pretend to be good or pretend to do something good for you, then you, you'll keep them around because you're soft-hearted. And, and you'll just melt by their good deeds and think they care for you because before... You actually thought that they cared for you as well. But be careful of this person. This person is vile. And the first opportunity and chance they get to suck you in so that they can manipulate you and use you. This person may come. Yeah, they may come to your house because if you're sick, you're going to be at home. And they may be coming to your house. Be careful, guys. Be careful. This person has not changed at all. This is majority of the persons here, whoever these are. But anyways, guys, this has been your message. Take care of yourself. Let go and let God. And I'll see you at your next reading. To purchase a book or a, a reading, go to twindyflamed.square.site. To purchase your bracelets, your keychain, your bath bombs, your incense. Go to Twindy Holistic Boutique, that square, that site. Let go and let God, everyone. And I'll talk to you in your next message. Later. Love you all.